Looking good, Melanie and Gordon. Just two sleeps of the big day. Good luck on Friday. We'll all be thinking of you. Over the past week, we've been testing our pros on their drunken sailors. Time to see if our next contender's efforts are more ship-shaped than shipwreck. Please welcome back Artem Chig Vincent. <laughs> Terminator returns. <laughs> oh, that was enough. <laughs> that was enough of dancing. That. In 2011, if we remind ourselves, you were the Botofogo champion. You have the world certificate. So you missed last year because you had a knee operation. Yes. You back to prove, you know, that you could still be the top. I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that's what I'm here for? Yeah, this is what out. you're here. Come on, we're here gonna go. find out. You've got one world record certificate, which yeah. you told us you keep next to the television because so you mm -hmm. can see it, see how big yeah. you are. Where would you put the other if you won it? Well, the one of them is the of the right side TV. Yeah. So if I win it and if I win it, it'll be on the left side of the TV. Just see, the surround just, just sound to balance it out. Just to balance it out. Brilliant. Before we have a look at your attempt, let's check out the leaderboard. Look at that. Anton Dubeck up the oh top. Oh my. I know. Who would have thought? A Pash down the bottom with 37. I'm now, very proud of Anton. Yeah, do you think. Anton, proud of you. Yeah, I like that. We all are. We all are. Do you think you could beat Dubeck? No. <laughs> Let's have a look and see how he gets on. I think the secret to winning this challenge to go as fast as you can. There is a balance between doing it right and doing it fast. So you need to find that perfect middle that you still do a nice step, still go fast. Hello, Artem, and welcome. Hello. Thank you. Glad to see you've dressed up for us. <sighs> Tried my best. What can I say? Now, you're a previous record holder. Who do you think is your biggest competition? I think everybody's considered to be competition. OK, brilliant. Please take to the floor. OK, Artem, you're a world record holder. Good luck. It just sounds so good. For the record, three, two, one, go. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Well done. Ouch. How was that? It was all right. Yeah, it was not bad. Give my best. Well, they were very clean and uh, there was a slight little sprint to the finish line at the end and you held your trousers up. So I you did. did a good job. <laughs> I think I did not bad. I don't think it was fast by any means, but I did give my best. Oh, I know. A lot of people disappointed that he held his trousers up. How many do you think you managed in the 30 seconds? How many Artem? Pasha did? Uh, but 37. I think it's about 36. OK. After each of the professionals had made their attempt, the footage was watched back by adjudicators in slow motion to verify every single one to make sure they were accurate. Fortunately for you, Artem, you had no disqualifications, as if there was ever any doubt. Uh, now the moment of truth. I can reveal that you scored... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with this. Let's do it already. You scored 48! Yeah! One more! So oh. proud, so proud. Let's see where that puts you oh. on the leaderboard. Hey, you where beat Pasha. And oh, you beat Aliona and Aliveta. So, not bad. T tomorrow, we still have two to go. Kevin and Jeanette, who's your money on? <laughs> He's just deflated. He's generally Jeanette. deflated. <laughs> Jeanette. I'll go with Jeanette. Go with Jeanette. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking part. Good luck this oh, weekend. You're my welcome. Thank Artem! You. I guess I'm going to have to shift my certificate to the middle. You're just going to put it in the middle. To There's always it out. next year. Brilliant. <laughs> Last week, our It Takes Two work experience intern Lisa had her hands dirty with the props department. So this week, we thought we'd give her something a bit more glamorous. Uh, let's see how she got on with hair and makeup team. Thanks, Zoe. Yes, I'm back doing my work experience, but I've got a feeling that this week it's going to be my favourite. I'm going to hair and makeup. 
So, Lise, explain to everyone at home what you do and what's your title. So, I'm hair and makeup designer on Strictly Come Dancing, so it's up to me to put everyone's look together each week for their concept dance and for the, all the group numbers. Brilliant. How many bottles of foundation do you think you go through? Oh, absolutely hundreds. I mean, yeah. we all carry, like, kits as this big with yeah. us. There's 115 brushes in this roll alone, <laughs> and then there's six other makeup artists, so that's a lot of brushes. <laughs> and what's been your favourite makeup, Abby, this series? Oh, I loved my tango yeah. makeup. It was such a strong, fierce look, the big black. Yeah, eyes. It's I, nice. I love dark eye makeup. There's one job I really want, Lise. Go on. Can I put oil on Artem? <laughs> All right. You have then. to fight me for that first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm oiling Artem. See you in a bit. See ya. Oh gosh. Hours and hours. You just need a lot more rubbing in. This could take at least an <laughs> it hour. It's a lot more rubbing. <gasps> what a great job. That's it. Oh, I did it! Oh, I did it! Lisa Riley, Mania Sparkles. Uh, this is um, what we call a 